Hello. So I'm going to read to you the world's most dangerous cat. And I don't know about you, but I want to know what's the most dangerous cat. So here it is. Let's read the caption. It may look cute, but this black-footed cat is a fierce hunter. It is great at catching animals to eat, but it needs our help. Cute, but deadly. Let's look at the picture at the top and read the caption. It says, the cat stays low to the ground. Then it jumps. Gotcha, bird. Huh, so that's how it hunts. Cute, but deadly. The black-footed cat is a great hunter, but it's in danger. Scientists want to help before it's too late. As you read, think about how scientists are trying to help the black-footed cat. Here I am. It's midnight, and a fierce predator is hunting for food. It slowly creeps through the day grass. It flattens its body against the sand. It's perfectly still. Then it lets out its spine, tingling, cry, meow. Look at the subheading. Cute little kitty. Meet the black-footed cat. It's fuzzy and cute. It's smaller than a house cat, and it's the deadliest wild cat in the world. When you think of fierce cats, you probably think of huge animals. Like lions and tigers, you probably don't think of a tiny one that looks like a fuzzy stuffed animal. But the black-footed cat is an amazing hunter. It catches mice, lizards, and spiders. It snatches birds out of the air. In fact, it's better at hunting than any other wild cat in the world. So what's the problem? Cats in danger. Not many black-footed cats are left in the wild. Scientists are worried that they will become endangered. That means in danger of dying out completely. The biggest problem is that people are destroying the cat's habitat to put up new buildings. This kills the mice, birds, and insects that live there. When that happens, not much food is left for the cat to eat. Another problem is hunting. People don't hunt black-footed cats, but they hunt other animals that live in the area. Sometimes they kill black-footed cats by mistake. Scientists are helping. Scientists are working hard to protect these cats. The scientists put tracking collars on them. The collars send messages that tell the scientists where the cats go. The scientists can make the cats they can make sure the cats are safe. Did you see how I went back and reread? Use those reading strategies. Scientists also trap some cats and take them to the zoo. They help the black-footed cats have kittens. When the kittens are old enough, the scientists will bring them back to the wild. They hope that these cats will have more kittens and the number of black-footed cats will start growing again. People have created problems for black-footed cats, but people can solve those problems too. Watch out, mice and birds, black-footed cats are coming back. So here is a picture. Let's read that caption. A scientist puts a tracking collar on a black-footed cat. Where is the cat? Black-footed cats are hard for scientists to find. Why? They come out at night. They hide from people. They are tiny. Scientists are so happy when they find a black-footed cat and put a tracker collar on it. That lets the scientists help keep the cats safe. Cats of all sizes. This graph shows how big different kinds of wildcats are. So look at the graph. This is length and feet, and this is kind of the wildcats. So we have the lion, the cheetah, the snow leopard, and the black footed cat. Number one, which wildcat on the chart is the smallest? The black-footed cat, the snow leopard, or the lion? Number two. How long? Largo. How long is the lion? Four feet long, six feet long, seven feet long. Number three. 
which wildcat on the chart is four feet long? The black-footed cat, the snow leopard, or the cheetah? Number four. Which wildcat on the chart is one foot longer than the snow leopard? I have to look at the snow leopard. And then add one foot. Which one is one foot longer than the snow leopard? The lion, the blackfoot cat, or the cheetah? Please make sure to read the article every single day so that way you can become a faster reader. Por favor de leer eso conmigo todas las noches para que así lean más rápido en inglés. Adiós. Meow.